win all three of them domestically and in Europe, of course. But this is such a significant night for Chelsea and Manchester City. Not just in terms of who takes home the points or whether it will be shared spoils, but it could deal a significant psychological blow if we do have a victor tonight. Here we go then, Manchester City get us underway under the Friday night lights at King's Meadow. The weak side that they have to be aware of too. Kelly. It is picked up by Hemp. And cleared. Great ball over the top for Fran Kirby. Ramirez is with her. Kirby back to Cuthbert. A really good header away there from Greenwood. And out of play for a goal kick. Yeah, really good break there from Chelsea. And I think when I was watching when Frank Kirby got the ball, you see Ramirez in the middle. Kirby, beautiful cushioned touch out to Ashley Lawrence. It's a teasing ball in and Greenwood forced into a defensive action. Again. Cuthbert, it's a free header. And it's claimed on the line by Chiara Keating. Similar situation against Arsenal where it wasn't quite... Charles on the charge. Wrighton, deflection, and that's Kiara Keatings once again. Cuthbert, all close down, and Robs. It's Shaw, she's in! It's 1 0 to Manchester City! The Chasers are in front at Kings Meadow. You know, it's interesting as well because we've got Gareth Taylor, I think, directly below us, and you can hear him telling players to press. Obviously, the first initial one from Yui Hasegawa doesn't come off, but Park does really well. It's a great first touch from Bunny Shaw because she just takes it away from Jess Carter there. Fantastic finish as well from her, but here, obviously, Chelsea playing with it, and Jess Park, she sets it, she goes. As soon as she turns that win over, Deidre Shaw with her first touch there, the outside of her boot, Jess Carr can't get nowhere near. If she does, it's going to be a penalty. But that all comes from Jess Park committing. And it's a great finish with the outside of her boot past Anne Hampton. 14th WSL goal of the season and her first career goal against Manchester City. When she got herself into that position, it would have been... Will there be an immediate Chelsea reaction? James's ball in is... Shaw robs it herself and makes good ground. Shaw goes for it, drags the shot wide. Perhaps there was a better option there. Yeah, I think they had Coombs to her left as well, and he also had Hemp, but she's probably just on a bit of a high still from her goal, you know, things up. Hemp. Head down, held up by Fran Kirby. Great run by Park, she slots in for sure again. And a tremendous stop from Hannah Hampton. So close to a second for Manchester City. Now, I was really impressed by Jess Park as well last week, and it's the same tonight. It's been a great first 20 minutes or so for a great little slip ball through for sure there. It's a big save from Hampton. She had. Kelly into Alexandri. Forces Hampton into another good stop. Well held. Get up. Hemp. Trying to find Shaw. The decisive play from Hannah Hampton. Really, really creative. Cuthbert. Oh, Ramirez. A little bit too strong. Greenwood got back into it, claims for a penalty. It looked like on first viewing, at least, that Greenwood got the ball there. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see 
the different angles here. Really good, I think. Beautiful feet, Ramirez. Chelsea's best move of the night. I said earlier on about Alexandri getting drawn into a little fight with Lauren James. She's done it again there. She gets drawn somehow, sitting here practically free at the back. So ooh. Lawrence. Oh, Coombs. It's Cuthbert. Just holding my breath there because I thought that was going to go into the roof of the net. Just see afterwards as well, Coombs with what well, Harvey just says, why, like, so why you playing that pass to me there. It's great confidence though for Mary Cover. She takes a touch out of her feet. You know, it, she's only got one thing on her mind. Gets the power behind it. Half time. And it's a slender lead for Manchester City. Thanks to Khadija Shaw's composed finish. The champions trailing at the break and not looking themselves always a completely different team in the second half i think whenever it's able to go in there and tell them what she wants them to hear you know i think it's a heavy touch from Mojave. great ball from lawrence it's james nearly picked out ramirez still there for chelsea fran kirby just eight goals conceded all season. Ramirez wriggling away. Out of play from Hasegawa for a corner. Yeah, and that's what she does so well at. She's a powerhouse. You know, it's really hard for Greenwood. I think there's a bit of a pull of her shirt as well. But she's just used her, her arm and she's so strong. Well, Wahabi whips it in. Sure! Oh, went with her head. Had to get down very low. It's an unbelievable. Keepers come and drops down to gather. I mean, there, there was a lot of bodies in that wide. The hemp. Well, Habi takes over, finds Coombs. Coombs takes aim. And too close to Hampton. Charles. Brighton. Gliber stayed down. Keating got there just ahead of Kirby. I also fancied Brighton then when she took that first touch. I thought she's got a Champions League as well. They've got Champions League pedigree. There we go. Ooh, Keating under severe pressure. City get a little bit forward strong. Oh, that was a big clearance. Chelsea play on. Ramirez. There's a player down. The referee's going to have to stop this. Canary had got that, thieves it back. Different angle. Kelly flicked over the bar. Alexandri. You'd also there, though, probably expect to overlap. Kasparai went for it herself. She is yet to score for Manchester City. That would have been an opportune moment to do so. Hemp on her right, Chloe Kelly to her left. It's Kelly! It's saved by Hampton. Space is opening up for City now. That's a couple of times now in the last however many minutes that Park's been able to pick that ball up completely unmarked in the middle. James with the flick on. Greenwood in a good position, Beaver Jones off balance. as well, you'd probably want someone like Guru right to honestly just keep coming at you. And there's only so much defending that you can do. Great ball from Charles. Kanderid goes for the byline. Cuthbert! That look destined for the back of the net. I thought he was going in the way it teed up from the edge of the box there. Great one-touch strike there. I mean, I was waiting for it to back in the net. It's a great ball out to Mitten Cannon. She cuts back inside. Well, I don't think she's going to cross it. It's a great love. It's great power from America. I've just got the bend on it. But just isn't quite enough to go in. Oh, 
and historically no team has ever won the WSL when they've lost three games. James couldn't quite keep that down. She's it's a dangerous ball in Ramirez. Here's Hemp. Hannah Hampton saw that wide. That looks close. Yeah, it's a great pick up there from him. No more in more of a central position as well. Bjorn. Greenwood there again. Saved. Oh my word, how has that stayed out? Off the line. All hands to the pump for Manchester City. Somehow they've kept it out. Charles. Absolutely incredible from Keating there. Now, I thought Nuskin was just going to put the wrist time. Have elapsed. It swung in. Keating Clare. Eventually blows her whistle. It's all over. The champions are beaten. Manchester City strike a significant blow in the race for the WSL title. They draw level on points at the top with Chelsea. And they have beaten.